How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Hotel Prius continues its way northwest, making a stop in West Virginia. We take you through a day in the life filled with morning coffee views, exploring local towns, camping out in the rain, hiking to awesome caves, taking ice cold plunges in the river, and so much more. Leaving off our adventures watching the sunset on our riverfront camp spot. Good morning, camper. It is so beautiful out here. Uh, we have goals of getting to Michigan by the end of the week, so we are going to move on after we clean up. All right, I am very hungry and we're running out of food. Uh, so we're driving through an area that is just all very, very small rural towns and all the food that came up was like fast food so I did find this mother earth something seems healthy it seems fun so I don't know I think we'll just try this and hopefully we can find something All right, back on the road. We're driving through Ohio, so I think we're gonna make a pit stop at Hawking Hill. Uh, they have some really fun outdoor stuff and it's dog friendly. Couple pit stops later, we finally made it to Hawking Hills. Awesome, thank you. The day started off like any other typical day. Getting to our camp spot, making some food, relaxing, taking some naps, reading a book, playing some fetch, and ending the day with a shower. It's our second favorite time of day, shower time. Very close second to first, which is coffee with mountain views or river views. Oh, heard that. That is thunder. We're about to get some rain. Probably take a walk before that happens. There's thunder coming from all directions. Oh God. Okay, while well, we were walking, hang on. I'm having a minor panic right now. So while we were just walking, I just got an alert on my phone that there's a tornado watch or a tornado in the area. So 
that's good. Last time there was a tornado warning. A tree missed my car by one inch. That was very scary. We were very lucky. As you can see, we're all going over towards the nearest shelter, which is the bathroom. So we'll see how this goes. <gasps> oh, you're okay, baby. You're okay. I promise. You're making so many friends, sniffing so many butts. <laughs> Right? I'm not afraid of anything, he says. So together we waited for the storm to pass. Well, they just extended the tornado warning again, but it just goes to show your health and your safety comes first. They have nothing but the clothes, well, and a tripod, and my doggy. We ended up making great friends, leaning on each other and making some fun memories. Let's go see if the Prius is good. Oh, thank you. Where are we going? Back? We're going. Where are we going? Yeah. We're going back to, to the cars. Do I don't see the <laughs> You're gonna come over whenever you want. We later learned that a tornado did touch down in Hawking Hills State Park, where we were staying with a path of 700 yards wide and six miles long. This was the sixth tornado reported in that area since 1950. Wow, we're good. There's just a little debris all over, but we survived the tornado just in time for the sunset. Go ahead, you're safe. You guys, this is all of my clothing except for my pajamas. Nate Camper, I love you, mister. Good morning, camp. How's it looking out here? Good morning. I'm just gonna snuggle a little bit. This never happens. You sleep well? <laughs> I still can't believe it was a tornado yesterday. A little bit of morning yoga. You wanna stretch with me? Okay. Alright. We treat it like a slide. That's where my forks go. I got that yesterday. Huh. <sighs> this bag is so heavy. It's so cluttered. Coffee time. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time we make our own coffee, but uh, I saw a little coffee shop driving in here. And we have to drive to any trailhead, so. I think we should try it out. Start it up. All right, now it's time to hit the trails. Hawking Hills State Park. But first, we're gonna change real quick. So I really hope we don't get any rain. Woo! I think we got the last parking spot. Oh yeah. So lucky. All right, we are starting off our day at Ash Cave. We're doing the Gorge Trail, which is a quarter mile long trail that is wheelchair accessible, that runs along this river, amazing cliff sides, and ends up at a gorgeous cave and waterfall. 
I mean, look at the size reference from the people to this massive cave. It's incredible. Hang on, baby. I got you. These are not dog paw friendly, so we gotta carry them up. <sighs> We're gonna take this rim trail a quarter mile back, turning it into about a half a mile, 0.6 mile loop back to the car. Oh my God, you dirty dog. Woo. <sighs> that was awesome. Uh, okay, I just noticed my refrigerator battery and my Jackery portable power station are running ridiculously low. And I like to have at least one of those completely charged at all times. Uh, there's a ton of cloud cover today, so solar power is not going to be an option. Normally what I'll do is, while well, I'm hanging out at a campsite or when I'm on hikes like this, I'll just put one of the solar panels in the dash so that way I can continuously have a charge going. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to have that plugged in into the carport and just hope we do enough driving today to get that power back up. Uh, that's one of the reasons I love this Jackery portable power station is there's so many different ways to charge. So like worst case, we could just get an electric campsite and have that charged up and we'll be good for the entire week. If you've been watching for a while, you know that I love my Jackery portable power station uh, so much so that I have partnered with them. So if you want to get one for yourself, I have a discount code for you guys in the description and please use my link because it really helps us out. All right, let's go to the next hike. And then a three minute drive down the road, we have Cedar Falls Trailhead. All right, we got a whole lot of stairs. Should we count them? One, two, three, four. All right, so far we've counted 106, but we gotta check out the surroundings before we keep going down. Look at this. All right, let's go back over and check out those falls. All right, back up the hundred something steps and on to the next hike. All right, next up, Old Man's Cave. Before I forget to tell you guys, this morning while I was at the coffee shop, 
I got on their Wi-Fi. Reason being, there's no service in this area. And I went on my Google Maps and I downloaded an offline map of this area and the area I'm going to next. Reason being, there is no service in this area, and without downloading those offline maps, I won't be able to use my GPS. Uh, this will also allow me to get to all the different trailheads. So highly recommend for all of your trips, downloading those offline maps just in case you don't have service. Another day, another stairwell to a beautiful waterfall. Beautiful. And you can see why this trail is so popular. It's gorgeous. All right, we did it. That was awesome. There are a ton of other trails in the park and they are all amazing. So if you come here, I do recommend staying for an entire weekend, even a full week. Uh, you will not be disappointed. But for us, we have a goal to get to Michigan in the next few days. So we're gonna hightail on up north. You guys will not believe what just happened. In the same 10 minutes, this group over here is leaving and asked me if I wanted some firewood. And while I was thinking, oh shoot, I don't have any kindling, this guy came and drove around and just randomly was like, hey, do you want some fire kindling? I'm leaving, do you need it? <sighs> uh, yeah, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> Now we are all set to make a fire. I like making my fires during the day. I think it's just easier. All right, we're gonna take a little walk to the shore and by then the sun should be setting. Once again, Camper and I are gonna clean up after trash bags. Oh God, yeah, you got that one. 
This infuriates me. I feel like everywhere I go, there has been trash. Everywhere. And everywhere I go, I'm cleaning up after people. Uh, seriously, please guys, before you go outdoors or anywhere you go, have a trash bag. Clean up after yourself. Leave it better than when you came. Booby trap in here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. I see you. You guys, this is. Oh. But I guess. <laughs> That huge bug from earlier is inside this towel. I got it. I really want to show you guys, but I do not want to risk having it back in my car. So 